Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a crappy jig. It's in a size that you're not accustomed to seeing from me. Um, it's a 132nd ounce with a size 6 hook. Um, in the vise, we have a 132nd ounce do it freestyle jig with a number 6 eagle claw. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, it's not an Eagle Claw. That's right, I didn't have them in a the size 6. This is a Victory 11149. Uh, I get them mixed up sometimes because I still have old Matsuos yet in, uh, in several different sizes. But um, this is a jig that I don't do a lot of. I do it now for the springtime. Um, basically, a friend of mine likes these, so I make some for myself at the same time. Um, I call it uh, Bluebird, and the color of this, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got that like crackle color to it. It's a Barlow's Double Trouble Blue. Really good. It's a deep blue, but there's also lighter elements in it and um, some darker veins. And it uh, just gives it a little bit of a, I think it breaks the outline up. But it's a really nice blue, but you could use whatever blue you have. I've used several different shades of blue on this uh, very pattern. So we're going to start. We're going to take some 140 denier black flat wax nylon thread. And we're going to get our base started here. And we're not going to go that far with it. Uh, maybe about a uh, quarter of the way down the shank. We'll work our way back up. This is a real, real simple deal, but it's a a really effective jig. And what we're gonna do is some blue bucktail. Now I want this to come out uh maybe a hook shank and a half past the bend of the hook. Right about there. Looks pretty good. Mark it off and trim it. And of course, I like to tie the bucktail right at the head because this is a little slick uh, material. It's one of those materials that will slip on you if you don't have it tied in properly. So I make a couple passes up and down to get it really tight. Distribution looks good. Now, Blue Pearl uh, Polar Flash. And if you get a kinked end, just cut it off. But I like to take it right to the end of the bucktail. And again, I'm going to use a lot more of this than what I would use if, uh, if it was Crystal Flash or uh, Flashaboo. And it's just because of the, the nature of this stuff. Um, it tends to almost glow versus flash. If that makes sense. Always got to make sure I have a little bit even. And that's two strands, just doubled over, back and forth. And last but not least is our chenille. This is New Age chenille called Winter Run Blue. So what you get with this is a couple different shades of blue in one jig. Um, I think it looks more... Uh, bait fish like that way. You can experiment with it, but as you can see, I try to get that little bit of a taper going up on the body. Pretty good and get in here with our scissors. 
trim that up to get a my bodkin out here to add some head cement to this then. Three, four, five. And that's good enough. We don't need any more. Scissors. Little bit of loom. Water-based head cement. And we got to use our bodkin to apply that. Because we got to get it in real tight in here. That's good enough for that. We don't need much. And I'll show you what we have here. Let me get my forceps here and this is a little jig, but it does a great job. There it is. The Bluebird. One one thirty second ounce crappy jig, little blue pearl polar flash, really nice, easy, and it catches fish. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.